On this video, I want to talk about this overwhelming push I'm seeing everywhere on social media and other places these days to become an entrepreneur. It almost sounds as if everyone who's not an entrepreneur is automatically deemed to be a loser. So we're going to talk about the three career choices that you have, whether you're going to be an entrepreneur, a freelancer, or an employee. Let's jump right in. If this is your first time coming to the channel, I want to say thank you for stopping by. My name is Dallin Vanderpool. I talk a lot about careers and how to get you one that's meaningful and leads to more time, money, and freedom. But today's topic, I'm sure you've seen it somewhere. You've seen it on social media. You've seen a blog post. You've seen somebody posting a rant about how, oh, stay on the hustle, you know, get your grind on, make sure you're not wasting time building somebody else's dream and all that kind of stuff. And trust me, I get it. You know, I come from an entrepreneurial family. I've done some entrepreneurial things myself. I'm doing some entrepreneurial things myself, from freelance things, and I'm also an employee in a larger organization. So I trust me, I, I understand where they're coming from when they talk about this idea of not spending your entire life building someone else's dreams. My concern is, or my issue is, the tone of it sometimes comes across as if everyone who's not an entrepreneur, everyone who's not out there quitting their job and saying peace out and doing something for themselves, all by themselves, is automatically a loser, like they're failing at life. And I just, I, I just don't know if that's the case. I just don't feel like that's the case. The majority of people are not gonna become entrepreneurs. And it's a hard pill for me to swallow to believe that all these people who are just going to their jobs every day, doing the best they can, they're making major moves, super intelligent folks who have interviewed on my podcast over at Focus the Fire, folks who I work with every day. I mean, these are super intelligent folks who are doing major things. I just, it's hard for me to swallow that these folks are automatically losers when I can see clearly that they're doing big things and they're doing great things in their lives. They're living meaningful lives, they're taking care of their families, they're making money, they're using that money to accomplish other dreams. So I'm not subscribing yet to the idea that everyone who's not an entrepreneur is automatically a loser. More than that, the interesting thing I'm seeing is that Folks who are out here chatting on social media and different places saying, oh, I want to be an entrepreneur, oh, I'm on my hashtag hustle, I'm on the grind, or whatever. These folks are not actual entrepreneurs. And I'll tell you why. Listening to Seth Godin recently, as well as Robert Kiyosaki, and they made some interesting distinctions, especially the Seth Godin side, which I'll start with first. Seth started breaking down the concept of being an employee versus being a freelancer versus being an actual entrepreneur. Here's the thing, a lot of folks who are out here saying they're entrepreneurs are actually freelancers, right? And here's the distinction. If you are in a quote unquote business and your personal attention, your time, your personal effort is always required in order for that business to make money. If you're doing all the work or you're doing the majority of the work and it all revolves around you doing something, providing a service or uh, producing a product for someone else, chances are you're not an entrepreneur. Sorry to let you know. You're probably a freelancer. Nothing is wrong with that, but I think it's an important distinction to make so we're clear on what each person is. That's freelancing. When you take your skills that you can do yourself and you provide that to someone else and they pay you, that's freelancing. An entrepreneur, on, a, on the other hand, is actually out there creating a system, creating a business that can stand alone. Something that they could possibly sell one day if they choose to, and that thing would still carry on functioning. An entrepreneur is also out there empowering other people. I think this is an important part of this entrepreneurial concept. You're actually out there creating meaningful work for other people. So if you are an entrepreneur, you're claiming to be an entrepreneur and you don't have a payroll or whatever you're doing is not solving problems for the world and creating opportunity, you're creating meaningful work for other people, chances are you're probably just a freelancer. You might be a big freelancer, you might be a fancy freelancer, glorified freelancer, but I don't know if we can totally go that far and give you the tag, the badge of honor of being an entrepreneur just yet. Robert Kiyosaki even went one step further, explaining that if you are doing one of these jobs, or you have a business, so to speak, where it all revolves around you, and you're doing all the work, and if you stop doing something today, the business stops making money, what you've essentially done is create a situation where you own a job. You don't necessarily own a business, 
you own a job. You've now really become your own boss or your clients have become your boss really. But you now own a job. You haven't made the step yet to where you own a system, you own a machine, you own a set of movements, you own a set of procedures, you own a wider thing that's actually generating money. Right? So folks out here, make sure if you're starting to make that jump from employee to freelancer or freelancer to employee, make sure you're very clear about the process and very clear about where you are and where you're trying to go. Nothing is wrong with either one, I don't think. Because a true entrepreneur even recognizes that you need, in order to be successful as an, a successful entrepreneur, you actually need a lot of intelligent, great, awesome people who are not trying to be entrepreneurs. Those are the folks who are gonna be in there generating ideas, doing work, and making things happen. So, in my side, I don't see how you can be a true entrepreneur, I don't see how you can prepare to be a true entrepreneur if you're spending time putting down or you know disenfranchising the people who are gonna help you build that big business. The bottom line is this, out here in this business world, we all need each other. We need people who are gonna be employees and be excellent at it. We need folks who are gonna be freelancers and need more flexibility and they wanna do that and they can be excellent at that. And then we also need the folks who are gonna be willing to take on that greatest level of risk and become entrepreneurs. Whichever path you decide to follow, that's great. I'm just saying we need to respect each person's path. So question of the day, let me know where you are on this journey right now, if you're an employee and a freelancer or an entrepreneur and where you wanna be ultimately. Drop a comment down below or you can catch me on Twitter at Dallin B. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you have any questions about this topic, I'd love to hear those as well. So drop those in the comments and we can continue this conversation there. Have a powerful day.